and hello everybody and welcome this is Rochdale Council with here that is where they've just removed the children's services to but if it's still there it should be at 57 Drake Street that's what it says so services but We've just been a while told that it's moved it in here now. So, watch the children's and social services, you despicable creatures. How dare you let down the children of Rochdale? Give us answers instead of hiding behind the Instead of the walls, give the people the answers they require. Why, why you let the girls down? So what now? Riding your, riding your face discipline action. It's disgusting. It's supposed to be there. To, otherwise, it just let you care two fucks about the money and not the people. This is Rochdale Town, so guys, it's now a Covid vaccination centre as well. Yeah. So come on, come on then, Mr. 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 Children's Services. Give us, start taking, start, start taking your finger from your asses and start giving the people the answers. Why did you let the children down? The families down? It's a big long building. Dirty windows. Oh, yeah. Very dirty windows. I don't know. So that next to the interchange as well. Yeah. Very, very dirty windows. Isn't it? Yes. So come on, Miss Jane Booth. Start giving answers. I think we'll take this, this is the library. I think this is the library now, Dad. Come on, watch the LMP. Simon, start giving your answers. This is going into, uh, this is going into someone's business now, Dad. What? This is no longer at town, so. Going to someone's business. Come on, children's social services. We're waiting. We need this. This is uh, Rochdale uh, Library, Dad. Yeah. Come on, call the uh, uh, Rochdale Council. The people are waiting. Oh, are you too scared of coming out with the truth and all you're in for is the money? Well, I'm going to um, pop in uh, Britain First as well on this uh, recording of when Paul uh, Golding uh, approached the council um, for answers. I don't fully agree with everything Paul Golding says, but it, when it comes to the grooming cases and that type of thing I think is actually uh, spot on in uh, what he says to be totally honest yeah you're not interested in Covid site you're just doing the council Yeah. So come on the councillors of Watchdale. Start giving the people the answers they require. This is now the new uh, registry, office. registry office.
private shit. I think this all turned into vaccination centre now. Still can, so. Yeah, I do. It's all as nice as it's all gone into it. Vaccination centre. Mm. We're not wanting the vaccination centre anyway, we want to just audit in the council. I'll have let so many people down. Out of hours access, security. Yep. Just filming the council that building that salt. Just filming the council building that salt. It's not a crime or anything. No, no. Yeah, I'll see if it's in there. I'm just talking about the Rochdale grooming gang case and how you've let so many children down. Oh, right. Right. That's basically what we're talking about, guys. Yeah. So, if you've got any comments, obviously you can. Yeah, no, no, no. No, you obviously you're not allowed, probably not allowed to probably try to keep your gob shut. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, get more. Saying not interested in COVID site, I don't like that. It's council <laughs> office. We've <laughs> got about 20 where we live. <laughs> <laughs> I look after yeah. Go on, man. Is the children's services closed down? It used to be on what Dum Street or something. Drake Street. Drake Street. Street. It used to be up here, didn't it? At one. Don't know to be honest. I wouldn't be able to. Play. We don't live around here, so we don't know. Oh. <laughs> they used to be on Drake Street. Yeah. Uh, so. You've heard about it. It's disgusting. The case. Yeah. Like I said, we don't live around here, so... Yeah. Um, so we're not bottle and put you off of doing... Yeah. Work yeah. Basically. 17 agencies, got the children's down. Yeah. Police and everything as well. Yeah. Get, none of them got done for do, any, any of it. Yeah. And the case is still going on today. Yeah. The only person I really give to know was Maggie Oliver, to be totally honest. She, she left, yeah. Yeah, thank you, mate. See you later. This is the uh, council, guys. Yeah. On the uh, one riverside. So come on, Cotter. Watch the child services. Start, start giving the people the answers they require. Why are you letting the children down? Why is it you letting the families down with them children? Why are you not giving these families support? They care what they need. And why are people getting done for it? Hmm. Disgusting. Yeah. All these people involved in this thing should have a, should have all been, all been sent to fucking prison. Every one of them. Not just been told off a sloppy dandy. It's disgusting. If they can't do the job, leave. Yeah. It's located right next to um, Interchange as well, guys. 
but this is uh, Rochdale Council guys like comment subscribe What, the place who covered up all the grooming scandal? No. The place who covered up all the grooming scandal? Britain first! Fight you now! Britain first! Fight you now! Member of the public. Oh, all right. I'm agreeing with you. Get your stinking rotten hands off of our daughters. Right, we're here at Rochdale Council, we've got a team of activists and we're going to go in and confront the, the people in this council for covering up the enormous Muslim grooming scandal that's unfolded in this town. Uh, and in particular, we are looking for Councillor Hussein, who is connected and, uh, and actually helped some of these grooming gangs uh, in court. So we're going to go and question him about what, you know, why he did that. And I'm sure you've all seen the documentary released this week by the, uh, the BBC. The betrayed girls which lays bare the, the, the full horror of what's happened in this town it really is you know heartbreaking what's happened to all the young english girls in this town for reasons of political correctness the muslim grooming scandal was suppressed by the authorities the social services the, the police the council we're going to go and question them why they suppressed it We've come here specifically to see Council Hussein, who's been collaborating with some of these Muslim grooming gangs. We can record. It's a public building. We put our taxes pay your wages. Is Councillor Hussein around? I'll see if I can get hold of somebody for you. Okay, thank you. It's an absolute disgrace what happened in this town. Just like Rotherham, uh, Britain First activists stormed the Rotherham council offices before to confront all the local councillors and ask them why they suppressed and ignored all of the victims of the Muslim grooming scandal in Rotherham. So we've come here to Rochdale to do exactly the same thing. We just asked this lady if we can see Councillor Hussein. She's on the phone, so hopefully he'll come down and we can speak to him. Somebody's coming down. Yeah. Okay, apparently someone's coming down, so we'll see who they send down. Hopefully it'll be Councillor Hussein. Um, if not, any of the councillors will do. You know, there's. Lots and lots of Muslim councillors, Labour councillors in this town, as you can imagine, a few English Conservative council, councillors. But uh, predominantly, this is a, a Labour town, and they've paid the price for it because hundreds of young English girls have been groomed, sexually molested, raped, drugged, uh, and just, you know, just subjected to horrific uh, sexual molestation uh, by organised Muslim paedophile gangs. Hi guys. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm Michael. Security. Oh, oh you security. She called security. Is Councillor Hussain here? Pardon? Councillor Hussain. I don't think he's here, no. But could, could we take it outside for a moment? Uh, no, what's wrong with him here? Uh, not quite sure. Let me just find out more, yeah? And you know? I'll let you know in a minute. We're UK taxpayers. Yeah, Our taxes pay your wages. I'm yeah. British as well, and I pay taxes. Okay, good. Oh. We want to confront the people in this council who covered up the grooming scandal in this town. Yeah, you see the BBC documentary, everyone. You see the BBC documentary this week, The Betrayed yeah. Girls. Yeah, the people responsible for the, hanging them out to dry in this town are in this building, I, I and we want to speak to them. I understand that you want to talk this, but it's just a matter of it's a library, and people are, you know, reading books and stuff. It's not really, you know, there's a lot I'm of not interested in sensitivities like that. Hundreds of girls have been raped and sexually molested by grooming gangs in this I town. I understand. Okay, we're here to protest. We need to confront the scum that covered it up and suppressed it and ignored the victims for so long. Yeah, let me just, uh, just give me one moment, yeah? Just one moment. Where's Penny? Yeah. You see straight away they've tried to uh, usher us out the front door, but we're not going bloody anywhere because as UK taxpayers, we pay all their wages. You know, we're citizens of this country and the people responsible for covering up the enormous rooming scandal in this town are in this building. And we're not leaving until one of them comes out here and faces us. For too long, these people have got away with it scot-free. Every time one of the victims of these grooming gangs has come forward and complained, it's usually they've been called racist, or they've been told to go away and keep quiet, or they've been just completely ignored by the authorities, by the people in this building, by the councillors, the social services, and uh, the local police, for reasons of political correctness. They're terrified of being called racist. The people responsible for covering up this scandal are in this bloody building. Here we go. 
Sorry about that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask who you are? Building manager is Councillor Hussein or any of the other local elected councillors, supposed representatives of the people, able to come out here and explain to us, right, and explain to everyone at home watching why on earth the people who covered up the enormous grooming scandal that's unfolded in this town, they're in this building and nothing's been done about it. We're not in this building, it's not town, we haven't got any elected members in here at this moment. But all I'm asking and is there social services in this building? All I'm asking you to do at the moment is you're quite right to demonstrate, I've got no issues with that, but if you're going to have a blackout, you can do it outside. Like right, can I ask you, why, is that too inconvenient, is it? No, it's just the council's policy, if you're going to demonstrate, that's absolutely fine. It's the council's policy okay. to ignore hundreds excuse of me, underage me. English girls who've been groomed not, by paedophile gangs. Excuse me, I'm not arguing with you, I'm not discussing anything to do with what's going on, I'm asking you. Oh, that's typical, not, isn't it? It's possible, <laughs> if, you could, if you're going to do it, if you're going to demonstrate, which you're absolutely going to do your right. Yeah, we're you pay taxpayers, we pay your wages. No. So show some respect. No, okay? We pay taxes if we well. want to protest in this building, we will can protest just, in this can building. Can I just ask you, quite nicely, if you're going to protest, can you just go outside? No. If you're not prepared to go outside, that's absolutely fine. I will ask the police to come down and ask you to go. Uh, what, the police who covered up all the grooming scandal? Not the police who covered up all the grooming scandal? Of course you don't want to discuss it. Of course you don't. None of you want to discuss it because you're all culpable. You're all guilty. Unbelievable. They just all they want us is out of the building so it can be business as usual. We're sick to death of allowing these councils to cover up industrial scale grooming of underage English girls by paedophile gangs. We all see it this week on the BBC show and it's absolutely disgusting. So I'm just a member of the public. Oh, right. I'm agreeing with you. So when, when the, but what I'm saying is that's what's in the news because it's going to get everyone's going woo, but it's not just English girls that it happens to. But good luck to you. Thank you very much. Good luck, and I hope you get what you came here oh, to we're, do. We're here because we're sick to death of being ignored. Oh, no. The victims are being ignored. They're being told to go away. They're being called racist. Their parents, when they complain, are being called racist. And it's just not on anymore. It's I just know. not on. I know. And I if know. this was happening to any and community yeah, whatsoever, yes. yeah, absolutely. So you know, you th this is. You? The reason this is not being addressed is for reasons of political correctness. Oh, you know? And it's uh, enough's enough. Enough is enough. Good luck to you, mate. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have all the council jobs worths uh, all assembling to try and get, get us kicked out of the building so it can be business as usual. Aren't you guys ashamed at all about what's happened in this town? I understand what you're saying. Well, you don't understand because all of the victims are, are ignored, all the victims are marginalised, all the victims are silenced. It's going on all over the country. There was 1,400 victims in Rotherham. God knows how many there are in this town. Do you know how many victims there are in this town? No? Do you even care? You do care, okay? Oh, right, okay. Absolute nonsense. All they care about is getting us kicked out of the building. They're saying that none of the elected councillors are here to face us today. And um, we know that's rubbish because we've done this kind of thing before. And as soon as, as soon as our group, Britain First, comes into these buildings to demand justice for the victims, they all scramble, they all hide, and they tell their security to say, oh, we're not in the building, we're not in the building. Bunch of left-wing liberal cowards. You threw hundreds of our children to the wolves over and over again to organise paedophile gangs and you suppressed it and you silenced it and you did nothing about it. It's a bloody disgrace. Britain first! Fighting back! Britain first! Fighting back! Britain first! Fighting back! Now the whole building knows we're here. And I can tell you now we will come back and back and back until we get justice and until the victims get justice in this town. No longer will we abandon the young English girls of this town or any other town. Britain First is going to take action. We're going to come into buildings like this all across the country and we're going to confront these treacherous, self-serving careerists and jobsworths who work for these councils. It was these councils, the social services, the police uh, and the councillors who covered this up in the first place. We have had enough. Get your stinking rotten hands off of our daughters.